Hi, I'm Nan Carmack. I've been attending St. Thomas for about three years now. I'm fairly new to Richmond. We moved here about four years ago. And when I was living in an apartment, I sort of was sampling all the Episcopal churches in the, in the city anyway um, to see if I could find that right fit. And didn't want to confirm until we had fi figured out where we were going to actually live. So when we bought this house in the north side, um, I started stalking St. Thomas. I drove by and saw a children's playground. Ooh, that was a good sign. Um, and saw what I interpreted to be prayer flags along with the St. Thomas sign, another good sign. And then I looked on the website and I saw lots of opportunities for youth. So that told me it was a lively parish. And, and I saw the information about the food pantry uh, and that was very exciting to me. And so I finally chose a Sunday to attend and the people who were um, at the door, the ushers were at the door, both men and women, which was again, a good sign, um, greeted me warmly and, and clearly recognized that I was a, a newcomer um, and made me feel so welcome. I enjoyed the service very much. People seemed to be not only worshipful, but joyful. And that was the kind of worship environment I was looking for. After the service, someone ran up to me and said, oh, you've changed your hair. We miss you so much and gave me a big hug. And I had to come clean that I had never been there before. And perhaps it was a case of mistaken identity, um, but that I would take the hug anyway. And it won't surprise you to learn that it was Kate Parthemos who was that hug giver. Uh, and so that was lovely as well. Um, I think the Bluegrass Mass was also, is also something that's been very important to me um, as a uh, academic of Appalachia, uh, very much an aficionado of the literature and the life and the culture. So all of those things combined with what I perceive to people, to be people who take their faith very seriously, but not themselves. And that is exactly the right place for me. So it's a joy being part of St. Thomas. And I hope that you all value it for as long as you've been there or as short as you've been there as I do. God bless.